Okay, so I've I've laser cut here what we can see in uh, in the CAD file over here with the with the cutout here for the micro USB socket, um, and uh, everything looks good. I think you can see how that just fits in the hole there rather nicely. Okay, so that's looking really good. So what I want to do now, remember that I'm going to be um, placing this card inside the 3D print. Um, and I'm doing this because um, I want to obviously have LED lights inside this box, uh, inside this 3D print. And if I were to stick down and try to solder the wires up in the base here, um, it's going to be quite difficult to do because the walls of the letter here are kind of obscuring my access, or obstructing my access. Um, and as well, I don't really want to be soldering uh, with a soldering iron at uh, about 330 degrees Celsius onto this ABS plastic. Um, so instead, I'm going to move my 3D print out of the way for the time being, and I'm going to be sticking and then soldering um, all of my LEDs onto the piece of card and then finally placing it into my 3D print once I've finished. Okay, so um, here we go. Um, I'm going to start down here. I haven't actually got much LED strip, strip left. Um, the LED strip that I used for the S here was, was bright white. Um, and this is warm white. I've got more warm whites than bright whites. So I'm going to go with the warm. And additionally, when I was planning to do this, I thought about having two strips of LEDs down here, but I don't have enough to do that. So I'm going to have to just do what I can. Um, now, let's have a see here. This is peeling away slightly. I think I'm probably going to start at this end, I'm not too sure. Also as well, I've got some side cutters here. I could use scissors, of course. Um, in fact, let's just minimize 2D design and you can see I've also got, here's, here's my other off cut of, of uh, warm white LED. I'm going to have to cut off the wires here, which is a shame and just use, use that little bit there. That's gonna be my crossbar. Um, and I've got some copper tape here, which I'm going to use to do some, some connections, which I find easier than using wire. You'll hopefully see why shortly. Okay, so how am I going to do this? Let's first of all just trim that back a little bit more. Okay, and let's take that right down into that corner. So I have thought about this in advance. I have actually thought to myself, okay, how am I, how am I going to do this? He says that and then he sticks down in the wrong place. Um, I want to make sure that this is going to be in line with the diagonal of the A there. So that's looking better. Let's take that up. Now, as I get to the top here, what I want to do is bend this across. So to help me do that, okay, it's actually right near the top. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to make it so the LEDs come up, down, and then back down there. So to do that, to the C. I'm going to use the size side cutters to cut through half of the LED strip. Now are those side cutters doing what I want them to do? I thought this would be the right tool to use. I did use some scissors on the previous on the S. Yeah, I'm, oh, it's going through now. Maybe scissors might be better. Anyway, I'm going to do that and then now, I'm, so I'm keeping this negative, this little copper terminal here connected. And I'm now going to take that up to, let's go up to there. Peel back some of the waxy paper there to stick it down. So the important thing is there that that's still conducting on this negative line. This is a negative line here. And I've got the positive on this side. That's what I've separated. And I'm going to have to reconnect those with the, with the copper tape here. Okay, now let's just cut here. When I'm cutting here, I'm cutting right on the black line there that separates the, posit the, uh, the, the individual LED lights. So when you're cutting the LED lights, you should never cut anywhere else except on these black line separations. Um, that's now going to come across. That's looking nice. I'm liking that. Ah, now what's happened here? 
Unfortunately, when I cut it, it's also stopped hmm, the waxy paper from peeling away. So that's a pain, but it's kind of good that you're seeing it happening here. And then you know to prepare for these things. And now I've got to do something about this. Dear me. Life is never simple, eh? Okay, I'm just going to pause this for a second and try and fix this. Okay, I've uh, I've got it now. I've fixed it, and I've also got myself as well just some, some children's scissors, really. But I'm finding the the small blade there gives me a bit more control. So that's going to go over to to there, and then now I want this run of LEDs going down there. So let's see what I can do now. So I'm going to trim this back here again on that line. I had to physically push down on the blades there for that to cut through. So again, it's not perfect, but hopefully now, yep, yeah, that's peeling back there. So that's peeled away with the waxy paper beautifully. Again, just making sure that that's going to line up with the diagonal of the A, of this leg of the A here. I'm liking that. That's nice. It's going to go all the way down to the bottom. Now, as I get to the bottom here, I actually have, yeah, I have these LEDs at the bottom here, which I can kind of bring this in and that one across. Do I or don't I? I could just cut that off, couldn't I? Just cut that off and be done with it. But I'm feeling as if the um, the foot here of the A needs a little bit more light. So I think what I'm going to do here is bend this in and then have this going all the way to the end. Let's see what let's see what that looks like. Oh, that's not going through at all. <laughs> they worked fine yesterday. Is this super tough warm LED strips? Maybe. Okay, that's got it. Okay, good. Okay, so that's going to go into there, and then I'm going to have this LED bending in again. And that's going to come across and just level off like Yeah, like that. Okay, so that's what I've gone for. As I say, I'd like to have a second run down there. Um, we'll have more LED strips available. And uh, you will have, obviously, more choice. Okay, last thing to do here, I'm going to pop this one in. Okay, and I'm just going to pop it in like this. So I'm going to have to cut off these wires, sadly. So I think I'm just going to cut it like that. Now, do I actually, do I leave them on there? Do I leave them on there and then use them to connect up to there? Well, actually, you know, that would be a really, really good idea. But I'm not going to in this case because I want you to see the processes involved. So let's just trim that off. The processes involved, we didn't have this option. In other words, if you had to, you know, you just had like an LED strip. So that's, that's gone and I'm going to stick that in there. Okay, can I do this quickly? Yes, I can. Good, good, good. Something looks about right there, like that. Should I have had it more to the left? We'll see. It's there. Okay, so I'm going to pause there, and uh, in the next video, I'm going to start to connect together these um, these copper pads where I've separated them, I've cut them to create uh, the, the, the pattern of the LED strips. I'll, I'll also be connecting this run of three to the same strip 